Hi everyone, welcome back to an edition of Isolation Baking. So today we're going to make a lemon meringue pie. If you're like me and you're running low on flour, then no need to worry, we're gonna do a graham cracker crust. So you do um, one cup of graham cracker crumbs and then one third of a cup of uh, light brown sugar. If you want a less sweet crust, you can just use regular sugar. And then we're just gonna mix that together. And then to that, we're gonna add um, a quarter cup of butter. There. And then you just put it into your pie shell. So you're just gonna sprinkle that around into your pie crust. Okay. So once you have that all tapped in, you're gonna put this into the oven at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. Okay, so now that your pie shell is out of the oven, you're just gonna let that cool. Then for your filling, you're going to need five egg yolks, six tablespoons of cornstarch, one and a third cups of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of water, a half a cup of lemon juice, which is two large lemons, two teaspoons of lemon zest um, with a zester, and I got that out of about one large lemon, and then two tablespoons of butter. So you're going to separate your, your eggs into the yolks and the whites. The whites are what we're gonna use for the meringues, and the eggs, you're just going to whisk up the yolks. So that's five yolks, just whisk those up and then set those aside because we're going to make our filling and temper our egg yolks. So in a um, pot on the stove, you're going to add six tablespoons of cornstarch, one and a third cup of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then your one and a half cups of water. And we're going to bring this to a boil to thicken it up. So we've um, boiled our mixture. It's taken about four minutes, four to five minutes or so. Um, and it's about the consistency of a cream of wheat and turn the heat totally off. I'm just gonna set that aside so you guys can see what I do next. So what you're going to wanna do is temper your egg yolks. And how we do that is just add a little bit of this cornstarch sugar mixture that I've just um, made. And you're just going to slowly add a little bit of it to your egg yolks and whisk that in. And what this does is it tempers your egg yolks so that it slowly brings them up to the temperature so that you're not scrambling your eggs or cooking your egg yolks um, right away. So you're just gonna continue whisking just like this about half of your cornstarch and sugar mixture. And then you're going to add your tempered egg yolks. Ooh, very clumsy today. Back in here. Okay, so I boiled this for about four minutes again. It's gone up to 160 degrees. So to this, we're going to add our two teaspoons of lemon zest, our half a cup of lemon juice, and then two tablespoons of butter. And you're just going to whisk that until the butter dissolves. So our butter is dissolved. All of our ingredients are nice and incorporated. Now we're just going to pour that into our pie shell. And then just set that aside, um, let it firm up a little bit while we work on our meringue. So welcome to the meringue part of our lemon meringue pie. What you'll need for ingredients for this is one tablespoon of cornstarch, a third of a cup of cold water, and I've combined that here in our pot, You um, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, a half a cup plus two tablespoons of white sugar, five egg whites, those will be from your egg yolks that you separated, 
and you wanna make sure that these are at room temperature. The other thing too is that you need to make sure there's zero fat in your egg whites, so not even a drop of egg yolk, and make sure your bowl is super clean. Uh, so your five egg yolks, and you can also add a half a teaspoon of vanilla to this if you'd like. So to my pan, um, my pot here, I've added the one tablespoon of cornstarch and one third cup of cold water, and I'm just gonna bring that to a boil and thicken it. What this will do is it gives stability to your meringue, um, and we're gonna add that in um, a little bit later on. So once it gets nice and thick, just like that, you are good to go. So it doesn't take very long at all, about a minute or so, and set that aside. Then you're going to take your um, half a cup plus your two tablespoons of sugar and add to that a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Okay. And then in um, your mixer, you can do this with a hand mixer as well. You're going to whisk your egg whites just until they start getting frothy. And then you're going to slowly start adding your sugar to that. Now you wanna start slow um, as far as your speed because you want the proteins in your egg whites to denature slowly. So to start to separate slowly and then um, develop into your nice meringue. That's what we're gonna do now, okay? So just start off slow. Then once they start to get frothy, you're going to slowly start adding your sugar and then increase it to a medium speed until you get soft peaks. So I'll show you what that looks like. soft peaks. So it's still a little bit runny. I'm going to whip this for a little bit more. And then right when we get to that soft peak stage is when we're going to incorporate our corn syrup mixture. Okay. So we're at that soft peak stage. This actually might be a titch over whipped, but that's okay. Actually, it's not too bad because it's not holding its peak when it um, sits up. So that's how you know you're at the soft peak stage. And then we're going to increase the speed a little bit, add this um, cornstarch mixture a little bit at a time, and whip it on high speed to get to a stiff peak stage. Okay, so we've whipped about a minute or so more and you'll notice that the whisk is leaving lines in your meringue that's the way we want it and then you'll notice that you have a stiff peak so it's not looping over at all that's the perfect meringue that you want for your lemon meringue pie now don't over mix this otherwise you'll get grainy meringue and then we're just going to start scooping your meringue all the way around and once you get it all filled up, I'll show you how to get that nice homemade peak, peaks to your, um, to your meringue. So now that you have all your meringue on your pie, you're just going to spread it around a little bit. And then just kind of dip and bring up, dip and bring up. You don't want to push too hard because you don't want to separate the filling underneath that's starting to set up. So this is going to go into a 325 degree oven for about 25 minutes or just until your meringue is nice and toasted brown. So we'll see you after that's done. So we've just pulled the pie out of the oven. It was in for about 25 minutes at 325 degrees 
and this is what you'll get. So enjoy. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Stay safe.